welcome back to another episode of Challenger Life. As you can see behind me, we've got Mount Ergol today. Uh, we were camping out uh, last night up here in Donegal and uh, we were watching some of the meteor showers. So we've got the crew here today. Say hello everybody. Hello. There we go. Alright guys, so let's get going. Errigal is the highest mountain in County Donegal in the northwest of Ireland. It's in a wild and beautiful land that plays host to many legends. In the nearby island of Tory, you found Baelor, the one-eyed, leader of the Fomorians, a demonic race that plagued the land. And also their foes, the Tuatha The two races together created stories of war, murder, love and revenge. So, uh, we just started off, we've not got too far, as you can see, quite a few casualties. The ground is extremely, extremely boggy, so just be careful, make sure you have your hiking boots on if you're going to be doing this mountain. Paddy, what do you think so far? Muddy. Muddy, very, very muddy, very, very muddy. A few jumps as well, hold on. There we go, come on Paddy. And we're still waiting on the girls. Okay. Go first, go, go, plow, plow, plow. Go on, go. <laughs> well, ladies, you traverse the swamp. <laughs> Well done, well done. So, I think our first mistake was not staying by the river. Uh, the terrain seems to be a lot less boggy if you, if you stay alongside the, the river that runs down. trail is finished, we're on more stones and shales, a bit slippy, but a hell of a lot easier to move through rather than the bog. I love having Australians on a hike with you. So I can see the mountain rescue helicopter there in the distance. I hope somebody's not injured. 
just a reminder to everybody who comes on these mountains or goes on any hikes just be careful be as safe as you can and become and um, come be, uh, come well prepared so we're reaching the summit getting closer to it it's not been too bad of a pass the only real obstacles have been it can be a bit slippy and on the weekend it can be particularly busy but from looking back you can see incredible incredible scenery and I just can't wait to get up to the top and see the 360 One thing I love about mountains is they tease you ever so slowly with their panoramic view. You get up to a certain point and you're like, oh my God, wow. And you know you've got more to go. But when you get to the top, it'll be incredibly rewarding. Let's have a look at this. So as I've mentioned already, Baylor, or he, as he's known as Baylor the Evil Die. Of course his fortress, as I said, was over in Tory Island. Now it's said in legend that Baylor was a giant of a creature and had one eye in the middle of his head. That eye could kill armies just with a deathly stare. Now Baylor was given a prophet, pro pro prophecy from a druidess saying that his grandson would, uh, would, uh, would eventually kill him. In a fit of rage, his only daughter, he locked in a tower. Now around this area was controlled by the two of the Donna. And a person in particular, Cian, had a number of cows here because it, back in ancient Ireland, cows were your wealth. And of course, Baylor, being the creature he was, decided to raid these lands and take the cows. Cian, in a rage, went over, braved it to Tory Island, where he spotted Baylor's daughter, if they fell in love, and had triplets. Baylor wrapped them in a bundle and threw them in the ocean, and luckily enough, one survived. Once again, caution is needed as you see it goes down both sides. So just be very careful when you're going along the ridge and when other people are walking back the same way you're coming. So we decided to take a bit of a break, 
soaking in all this amazing, amazing, amazing landscape and scenery. Enjoy the climb, guys. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, good. Very similar to Crow Patrick. Yeah, yeah, very, very true. It is, it is quite similar to Crow Patrick. Slightly, slight less of a challenge, but very, very similar to Crow Patrick. So we made it to the top, we're on the walk back down now and this mountain just reveals an incredibly beautiful landscape. The wonders of Donegal stretch as far as the eye can see and it's just a wonder to behold. Absolutely incredible mountain, incredible piece of land and there's a lot of Ireland immersed in tales and legends. And just like all good stories, they come to an end. The one grandson that managed to escape was raised to be a great warrior, and in a great battle between the Fomorians and the Tunadonna, Baylor was slain by the hand of his grandson, and the Tunadonna won a great victory. Some even, some stories even say that Baylor, as big as he was, fell over and crushed a number of his men. The magical stories and mythical tales always seem to match perfectly with this land. So very near the end, um, got the car park up there, which I'd recommend that they might make bigger. As you can see, there's a lot of cars on the road. Stranging along behind myself and Mary. <laughs> How did you find that hike, Mary? It was uh, easier than I thought. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, so, uh, Mount Hergel. Not too bad. Um, quite popular. Uh, so if you're going to get here, maybe get here early. Incredible views, just like everything else, uh, just like most of Ireland on the west coast. So get down here and uh, have a go.